We've got the concrete restored in the high traffic zones. And now for the meeting rooms and office spaces, my design calls for luxury vinyl tile, what we call LVT, because it's really cleanable, really durable, and also has a beautiful finish. I've chosen Cardine Design Flooring because they've been in the flooring business for over 40 years now and are considered one of the leaders in LVT. I'll be working with John Jarvis of Cardine Design Flooring to install the floor. Before any flooring can be laid, however, I've asked Emil Mello to meet up with our site manager, Mark Furman, to measure and inspect the area, especially for any moisture content in the concrete floor. Here in South Florida, there's a good possibility that we're going to have moisture in the building's concrete slab. With the high water table in this area, and because concrete is very porous, moisture can seep up through the concrete and affect the new vinyl, causing it to buckle. To determine if this is going to be a factor, the Carndine Design Flooring technicians are inserting sensors that will measure the moisture content in the slab. And as we suspected, there's a high level of moisture in the concrete. So now, the Carndine Design Flooring installers will lay down a water barrier product called VersaShield. This will prevent water from seeping up through the concrete and affecting the glue that's used in laying the vinyl tile. This was an extra step, but it's going to help keep this flooring looking good for a long time. Yeah. They did moisture test. What are the other couple things? That was really the only thing. The only other thing is to make when we prep the floor that it's clean, dry, and level. Luxury vinyl tile was very good for the workspace because uh, of the look and feel of the natural product. We've got many patterns and designs that mimic the real thing, so we're less susceptible to moisture, uh, topical water spills, scratches and dents, and things that would. Uh, uh, easily damage the real thing such as wood, uh, it won't affect ours as much. I've decided to go with this wood look in LVT, something that has a lot of grain and movement in the tile so that you don't see scratches and dirt. It was the exact coloration I was looking for and it had enough movement in the pattern on the floor for it to be interesting in the herringbone pattern. It's all in the prep work, so once that the prep work is done, yeah. it's just a matter of spreading adhesive and placing the planks in, making sure that everything's tight and square. Now, this is not an easy installation. It would be much easier to just lay this stuff down in a plank pattern. The reason I chose a herringbone pattern is because it's installed um, at a 90 degree angle. And so the, the way that our building is really laid out, it's these two intersecting rectangles. And what happens is, in one area, the herringbone is parallel to the wall. And, when you, and because I kept the pattern floating through our main travel path, when you get to the main bullpen, it's actually at a 45. So it's interesting how the flooring plays with the shape of the building and the installation. The last two weeks of construction have been hectic, but I'm seeing solid progress. We're at that point where things are starting to take shape. The floors are exactly what I had envisioned. The Carndine Design Flooring Installers did a great job. So for Kaylin, what we did is uh, we lined up the herringbone pattern with the main uh, site, uh, the main line of sight through the, through the main corridor here. Uh, so it gives a, a nice feel and it kind of pulls you into the space. And I think once we get all the furniture, these spaces are going to be fabulous. <laughs>